A tool developed to fight COVID-19 could one day end another disease. Moderna has developed an mRNA vaccine to prevent HIV and AIDS and clinical trials beginning soon. We spoke to the Southwest Center for HIV AIDS about what that would mean for the world. It's going to be huge to, to have a tool that will actually help us allocate resources to preventing it so that we're not at 690,000 deaths a year for something that, that is preventable. There are still many steps before Moderna's HIV vaccine is ready for use by the general public, but 38 million people worldwide suffer from HIV or AIDS. And if it works and its use is widespread, that number will only go down in the future. I think the fact that it's even here and we're talking about it is is really exciting for the movement and for the work that we're all doing. AIDS is no longer the death sentence that it once was, but treatment requires everyday use of expensive medication, and that leaves some communities out. We're still seeing an increased um, transmission rate, specifically amongst our uh, African-American black men who have sex with men who are in that younger demographic. Right now, people treating HIV or AIDS have a lifetime of expensive treatment. A vaccine would only happen once or twice a year and would prevent people from needing any treatment in the first place. But just like with the COVID mRNA vaccine, getting people to trust this vaccine if and when it's ready for the public will take a lot of effort. We're going to have to really get good at educating and giving people space and, and being culturally aware of what those hesitancies are with vaccines and be able to answer tough questions. Whatever challenges may come, the Moderna trial represents the best hope for ending a decades-long epidemic. This study will test the vaccine in 56 people over the course of 18 months from September of this year until April of 2023.